Hi guys, it's me UB Programmer and I am back with another project which is Medical Insurance Cost Prediction. So uh, you buy some uh, insurance from the medical and then uh, it's kind of their analysis, the company's analysis on how much uh, uh, you can, uh, how much can be spent on you as as their customer right so uh, you enter your age gender and some health parameter which is bmi then children and uh, the region and the uh, your smoke condition do you, do you smoke or not and then it will try to predict this much amount uh, can be spent on you right if you are their customer okay so that's exactly the project uh, description is saying please enter the required information and this will tell you how much uh, money will be spent uh, with the help of obviously machine learning algorithms so let's just see the demo this is the simple ui of our application and let's just see the demo so we have age let's say 19 the uh, gender is female uh, and I'm getting this value from somewhere I will show you in a bit and BMI is let's say 27.9 then we have children obviously not because they're 19 years old right are you a smoker uh, yes I smoke and then select your region uh, southwest right okay and uh, let's submit it and when you submit it you get output as uh, 16971 dollar right this much amount can be spent on you right uh, and let's see uh, these values so these uh, was the values i was entering in our website and you can see the charges the actual charges was 16884 and what we have predicted is 16971 notes so it's really awesome right uh, they are not really far away and uh, that was the main motive okay and uh, let's see the code part of it row and you can get this uh, source code by uh, seeing the uh, description uh, there will be a link about it right so um, uh, uh, importing some libraries which will be useful in our analysis and model making then uh, let me just show you the app first and then I will explain a bit right so this is the app and as you can see we are deploying it on the flask so we have imported this and then this is the model and from where we are getting this model is from this notebook we are analyzing our data this is the data right then we are doing some visualizations on the data and then after doing some eda uh, i'm dealing with the categorical variables then uh, we have imported the linear regression and we are applying it and the linear regression is giving me the accuracy or r squared as 75 percent which is kind of low right uh, so what i have done is uh, implemented the random forest regressor and this is giving me the accuracy of 97 percent so that's really cool right and that's why we are getting our prediction really close to our uh, model or our actual uh, values right then we have uh, made a pickle of our predictor as or, or regressor as predictor.pkl and this file is being saved here right predictor.pkl then this file is being loaded into our model variable then we have the predict function which is getting these parameters and from where it is getting these parameters uh, let's talk about that now obviously from the from this web page right and this web page is basically the index.html of our flask app and here we have this 
parameters age gender and from the input uh, field we are uh, getting the values so if male has been selected the value will be 0 female is 1 and from where this is coming this is coming from the categorical variables uh, I hope you remember it yeah so male we have set it to become the 0 and female become it to 1 right so that was uh, the code part of it and uh, you can get uh, the source code from the description and you will get this as a full zip file right so you can extract all these files from there and in this you can get the data set uh, link also uh, you can always visit that and in that you will get the uh, instructions to run your project so there will be three methods choose whatever you feel comfortable or uh, by any chance you can't uh, execute it on your machine just let me know so I can help you out right so that was it for this video and I will meet you in another video with another project right okay uh, thanks for watching